Hi, my name is Trevi. And I'm Kate. And welcome back to our podcast called Six, Six Feet, Feet Above. Okay, I feel Wait, like are it was we off. Yeah, I was just realizing Six that we were. Six Feet Above. No. Wait. Above. I can't hit that note. You, you gotta hit it me in every the week. Hold on, hold on. Wait. Hi, I'm know? Trevi. I'm Kate. And welcome back to our podcast called Six, Six Feet Above. Okay. That. Because I started lower. And then I started higher. Okay. Melody? No, 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 no. Um, harmony. Mm, no, Melody. <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Melody. <laughs> Where did that hat come from? <laughs> yeah, I know. Suddenly I'm your boyfriend again. Okay. <laughs> no, suddenly you're like five, six and just like, you like stand like this. And you're like. Literal tap dance shoes. Yeah. <laughs> A top hat. <laughs> that lore. Anyway. That lore. That because that's your type. It is. I should start. We should dress like our types next week. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. I come no because I'm yeah, actually. In. <laughs> okay, if I come in to these doors yeah. wearing a white tank top, Oof. a backwards hat, and like baggy <laughs> jeans and like Nike Dunks, honestly. I, well, first of all, I'd probably have to go to therapy for dressing like right. that. I'm not getting it's giving D. <laughs> <laughs> Transition. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm, okay. what, what would you dress as? Top hat and top shoes. Cool. Is so our next segment. I'd be on my knees walking in. <laughs> Anyways. Um, Super glued to the shoes. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> duct tape. Yeah. Persuasively. Oh. Ugh, hey. And I would have to lose like 50 pounds. Anyway. What? Why? Well, because usually in the men I'm into are a oh. little skinnier than me. The men I'm into, I just want them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Side note, I love that you go, why? Like, that was like a, you look good, why would you need to lose weight moment? And it was cute. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm yeah. like, don't you ever. Yeah, you literally ever spot me. You to, I was like, no, 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 because what are you going through up here? Because that is not the girl that I know. No, you know I love being juicy. No, because I'm like, last week you're like, I'm all about food freedom. Yeah. This week you're like, so I need to lose 50 pounds. I'm like, girl, take the bipolar Life is a meds. Wait, no. that's literally cut that out. <laughs> Do I actually have to? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'll decide in the second draft. Yeah. God, <laughs> always the second oh, draft. Wait, is my hair look? It really looks so okay. good. I'm trying to figure out, guys. Before this, okay. I just love putting my letters together in a smoothie. Um, I'm trying to figure out what this dress looks like. It's like a candy. It's not. No, it's like that little cake that they give out at the. Um, is it the? No, yeah. yes, because I know that there's like all of these colors, but it's not like it's not like the sour strips. It's not giving like cake. It's giving like chiclet or like gum. Back in the day, maybe someone say or like a toy. candy. I don't know. Comment below what we'll this figure is. it out. It's like the colors are stacked, like this dress. All right, guys, if you are watching on YouTube and you're falling asleep or driving and you want to listen to the audio version, the link is in the description. Guys, there is an exclusive clip from this episode on our Patreon, and we want to eventually get to the point where we can do full length episodes yeah. for our people on Patreon. So go over there and say hi, subscribe to whatever yeah. tier you want. And we will alert you over there when it's time to do the full episodes. But for now, we have a little clip that we just posted. And we'd love if you can go over and support because your support makes these episodes happen. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway. How was your week? I missed you. I missed you too. It was too long. Um, It was so good. We... um we, <laughs> you were just with okay, me the I'm whole like, time. The Eiffel Tower shows up in the <laughs> <Yeah>. middle. <laughs> we. Um, it was good. I, I can never remember what I did that week. But I do love that. So last week we went out together and we, we went to a party and yes. we were driving there and we were driving up a hill. And I'm sorry, I love this story, <laughs> even though it just <laughs> happened. <laughs> we're driving up the hill and then I had to stop in the middle of the hill because there were cars in front of me and there was a traffic light. Well, and it was raining. And it was raining. Yeah. And then, like, every time I started my car again, it, like, went back a little bit. And well, I the, started the freaking out. The wheels were, like, yeah. on the bus went round, round, round. Yeah. I mean, it was, like, slipping and sk- It is a used car, but Trevi was really calm and she was just like, Listen. Used car, used girl. <sighs> I wow. wasn't going to say it. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but, oh. um, my week, my week. It was cute. Good. I can't remember anything. What about no, you? I, no, same. Yeah? No, can't it's remember cute. a goddamn thing. Okay. Not kidding at all. I, I just feel like you up. actually had a big week. Did I? It's giving what you're off your chest is going to be. Oh. 
We are now going to shut. Don't <laughs> fucking look at me. I'm literally I'm not. No, you're literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to get into the segment called Off Our Chest. It could be negative. It could be positive. We just need to remove it and let it out of our system. All right. And this week, <laughs> I have it prepared. I never have Woo! it prepared. I know, I know. This is a big deal. This is a big deal. That how you... Whoa, wouldn't it be crazy if I could talk? No, it, That's it how so you insane. know it's going to be a good one. I'm like, it's still fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was straight up drool in the last no, episode. That was just straight up fire hose. Yeah, um, yeah, that's kind of crazy. No, that was straight up fire hose. <clears throat> anyway, continue. No, because it's literally giving one pink flip flop. I, I wish you could see. I had to take my other flip flop off because, you know, like the thong in the between the toes, it was like hamming on my hoof. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> hit me on the hub. Yeah. I posted a brand deal this week for a makeup brand that I really love, and I've been having a continuous partnership with them, and everything's been great and dandy. Wouldn't it be crazy if I can breathe? Um, I, I love. Can't breathe right I now. love <laughs> asthma. It's so good. Um, and one of my deliverables was to post something on Trans Day Visibility, um, mm. which happened to. I think for the first time, fall on Easter. That's so like The great. first time it's ever... Because Easter is popping around. It's We always know it's like the last Sunday, but it's yeah. never the 31st. Trans Day Visibility always been the 31st. I posted this brand deal, or they posted it, sorry, to their Instagram that had like 25 million followers. That's like, an audience. Uh, that's an audience, but it's also like... Girl, I did not expect. I'm like, how many of those are Christians? Right. <laughs> not kidding. It's, it was giving at the time, like fucking 60, 70%. Not kidding at all. Uh, um. Anyway, I posted on my TikTok. People were like, yay, fun, love this. Right. And then they, they have taste. Well, just because they follow me, they know that they know my tea, right? Your lore. My lore. And I've never once, like, bashed religion or Christianity or, like, Easter, therefore, like I didn't yeah. invent the holiday, I, nor did I plan for it to be on Easter. That's just not my tea. The brand posted it. I was, it was getting thousands of comments just from all these people being like, unfollowing, get this wow. trash off my feet. Feet. Off my feet. <laughs> off my. So, so we're true. moving into our next yeah. segment called Off Our Feet. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, I get this like shit. That. Get them. No, not kidding at all. No, literally, you're one flip flop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the thong, hammer on the hub. Um, <laughs> so. Get the shit off my feed, um, calling me awful names, calling the brand awful names, and just being like, this day is for Jesus and Easter, and like, how dare you, fuck Joe Biden, and like, as if like... This as is if that makeup company is like the spokesperson for that holiday. No, and honestly, as if like, like I know... Uh, I, can't, I can't talk about politics. Uh, um, yeah, I'm yeah. trying not to, but... Crazy if I can breathe. Not kidding. Um... And it's just they think that like we created it this year, it, like per to purposely like take away right. Easter. I'm just like, this is the so most weird. audacious, boisterous, mm -hmm. bemurfing behavior. It was bemurfing for. Did they reach out to you? Uh, no. Okay. But they deleted all of the bad comments. Like, really? That day. Well, that day. So they were like deleting a shit ton. The engagement um, probably went crazy. If I ended up having like a. Dylan Bud Light sort of deal. I would right. be like, I don't know how to handle that. I don't know how she handled that. I oh my god. Here's the thing though. So like, scary. I know, but here's the thing. Like with Bud Light, like they know their audience, right? You know, with it's giving girls gays and things. Well, yeah, that's what surprised me about it. I, I feel like that's just not fucking shocking yeah, at all. At and all. also, but it's also at the same time, it's like you're thinking of these middle America, right. 40, 50 year old Christian woman. It's like, yeah. they're not going to go be buying from like fucking urban decay. Like they're just, they right. just stick to the classic. Yeah. And this brand is a very classic brand, like overall mainstream brand, which is like, yes, girls, gays and days, but it's also giving like middle America Karens. But it's just so confusing because it's not like you're the first trans person that they've ever posted. At all. And they so have I'm a whole like... entire, they have a whole entire like lipstick line that they like, they donate all this, the money to like the AIDS Foundation, trans oh, communities, cute. all this stuff. So it's like they've always been public. Like you've right. always seen a person like my liking, right. like of my sort, working at one of their stores. 
Like it's just not it's just not shocking, and it's just I don't I don't and I, like I said, I've never bashed religion, but since religion bashed me, it's like this is my own personal opinion, and I might cut this out, but like trans people are real, right? And quite literally visible to the human eye right like so what are you getting mad at because on trans day visibility you can actually literally see the trans people and you're getting mad over a story that was written a few thousand years ago sue me no no, because speak on it and i'm so confused by that and i saw comments Uh, that were like it was just something about like their god and how he would never like i'm delusional for being trans right he was like they were like my god would never allow something like this or like my god's telling me to like repent and i'm like why is it it's like every time a religious person says that their god is telling them to do something why is it always something that why is it shooting up no sense (laughs) no no because why is it why why is is he telling you to do something that has no type of common sense or like yeah I'm just so... That Why are we like, shooting people? Why are we... Well, okay. No. I mean, yeah. No, because... Why? No, because literally... Yeah, I, I want to know. No, it's literally the voices. The, the voices. The voices. But here's also the tea. I am all for one in blind hope, blind faith. I've always been faithful about a lot of fucking things in my life. And if you are passionate about that, then float... Like, row your fucking boat. Whatever yeah, floats your boat. Yeah, like, I don't... I'm a spiritual person. I can't fucking see it. Okay, but that doesn't mean I need to tear other people down. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, so that's my off my chest. I was just a little bemurfed that it was. I was really. Ex- <laughs> <laughs> I had Tana screaming over bemurfed. Bemurfed. <laughs> she was I on the couch bemurfed. the other night, and she was stoned, like more stoned than anyone I've ever seen in my entire life. I love life. that for her. No, yeah, well, she's not drinking, so yeah. she just like smokes at night. Smoke it up. Girl. And I literally, it just came out of me, and I go. No, because I I literally had me but Murph. And she looked at me, she dropped what she was smoking. She dropped her phone and she looked at me, she goes, What the fuck did you just say? And I got blame Kate. Blame it Kate. is literally my fault when so you think about it. If that ends up uncancelled, we did it first. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I was saying, but that was I was just really excited and I just feel like that day for me on Trans Day Visibility was full of just a lot of hate. And I was like, oh cool, just another Another day of right. the life of it's Trevi. Like amplified. But God, I'm a day of visibility. Not kidding, but God, I'm so strong. Not kidding. And so God. rich. No, after that, for yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Yeah. You really are strong. And rich. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the episode title. Yeah, I'm strong and I'm rich. I'm strong and rich. <laughs> That's all I want to be. That's all I want to be. You literally are. Okay. Obviously, you were bemurf that day, but were you, like, in your feelings and sad? I was... I was running on no sleep. I went to bed really late because I went out that night, and I had to post it early in the morning. And I was like, I had a, a rooster alarm on my a laptop wake me up at, like, 9 in the morning. Mm. I got ready to post it. I was so excited. And it was, like, doing fine on my TikTok. And then when they posted I was super excited. Yeah. My management team texted me, and they're like... Hey, they posted you, and I was like, "Oh, I didn't," because like I didn't know that they were oh, going to do know that. Oh, I didn't know that was that famous. Um, and then I was excited, and then like after 15 minutes, I was like, "Oh, yeah, oh good, like, oh great." I just love working with brands, and I. It's so odd that a lot of, shit, and I know we've talked about algorithms and stuff. It's just like, I hate when shit flops, especially if if I'm working with a brand that I really care about and I want to deliver them what they what they want. Like, Because I did everything that I could do, right, yeah. as far as content-wise goes, but I can't take accountability for an algorithm. Right, no. I can't. Yeah. Um, I had someone email me to be my manager. I need to send it to you because I have nothing. I have who, no who is idea. It? Who is it? Can I? No, no, no. We're going to read it. On, we're going to read it here right now. Why don't you have your email on your phone? That's a really f- and that that's not good, Kate. I, know. I have my well. I like, have my regular email. Like, yeah, let me just check my email. I actually can't though. I have to wait until I'm <laughs> back in the office on my Dell laptop. Well, it's like I'm I'm so I'm like I'm not gonna get an email. I'm looking, girl. Me now. No, I think in like the sense of our girlies and gays and theys that watch us. I'm and upset. honestly, the straight men, if there's any, there's you probably th- okay. If you're a straight man, if you're a straight, podcast, yeah. No, because comment. Comment below. Comment below if you're a straight man that watches and us. And stop. No, I'm kidding. 
Sorry. No, <laughs> no, don't. No. And just go to my Instagram yeah. and click send message. Yeah. I'm in. Is this it? Yeah. Well, I'm like, it's probably like a scam. I'm looking at their roster. Oh. Oh my God. My friend Jason's with them. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Oh, scam. I know this guy too. Wait, really? Wait, yes. Is all men? No. Imagine. <laughs> Thank God I go in. I'm like, you guys, are you guys hiring right now? I don't even want to be a client. <laughs> You hiring? Y'all hiring? Respond. Really? Wow. Oh my God. My off my chest this week is that. <laughs> um. Oh no. Okay, I have one. Okay. So I went to like a little comedy party with my two roommates. <laughs> I saw that. And, yeah. It was cool cute. Invite. Yeah, I got you. Uh, <laughs> no, it was in Santa Monica. You weren't gonna go to that. Mm, and we were there for we were me. there for five Say minutes. You're, off your <laughs> you're so ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, I was talking to this guy and like it was flirty and I was like, okay, I'm literally into this. And then I was telling him how I teach Pilates, and it's like it's so weird. I've noticed like the mood got so bizarre when I said I teach Pilates, and then he like looked me up and down. He was like. That you're flexible and i was like with his gritting of his yeah, teeth. yeah yeah and i was like oh and it's like damn dude you were doing so well and then the horniness like peaked out like he couldn't help it it like jumped out literal jump scare yeah. so i guess like i don't know when you're flirting with a girl like why can't you just like just pretend you're not horny for a second pretend you like think of her yeah. as a person for a second isn't that scary though yeah i'm like it's like they because they'll, the, they'll they will always be that horny yeah but just when they're not they're hiding it literally like, oh well, yeah every terrifying. every time i'm talking to a man i'm like all right i know what's the gist like if i was like take it out they would do it in yesterday in a second yeah but i'm not gonna do that um but yeah like stop being horny how was the party overall trash really yeah, we just like stood outside and some mm. guy told me that my earrings make me look like I FaceTime on the bus. <laughs> I was like, what does that mean? That is I said, honestly, excuse me. Oh, that was definitely Tim Dillon. <laughs> yeah, I was. No. <laughs> um, I was like, that's kind of crazy. That sounds like something he would say though. Yeah. I was like, um, so you want to fight? No, fight or fuck. Yeah, both. I don't even like walking outside in LA. Yeah, you used to like love a good walk in New I York. I used to bike, walk, subway. I don't even want to sniff the outdoors in LA. <laughs> so scary it's here. It's scary. And I live on a meth block. Do you? Well, there's meth heads that hang out on the end of my street, but one of them calls me Cheesecake. Like Cheesecake, you know? And I'm no, like, No, because that, that's your man. No, I know. Well, he came up to me. I didn't know he was a meth head, and he was like, asked me my name, and I was like, It's Kate. And then like later, I saw him like doing meth on the street, and I was like, Oh. Hey. <laughs> you're like, I he can was like, cheesecake. You're, you're like, I can get you clean. <laughs> and I was like, I can save you. <laughs> no, no but he is really cute. Really? He's really cute. Mm. So I hope he gets clean for me. me. What an well, intro. No, so, yeah, that was a 70 minute intro. <laughs> yeah. So, so sorry. So are you literally going to Coachella? It's literally this weekend. I is this weekend? Well, like when this comes out, it'll be Tuesday. So it'll be yes, that weekend. Okay. So, so like so cut that and yes is that <laughs> wait so yeah. what's going on is meg the stallion performing i don't know i honestly haven't looked at the lineup since it okay, came so out. what are you wearing what are you most excited for i'm the most excited for lana to be honest i've never seen right. her live um i'm excited to just like go frolic in the sun and like show up show up show out mm. um network it's like a, just a great weekend for me um most of the time it's a lot different when you're sober uh yeah a lot of walking a lot of walking and a lot of walking dogs are gonna be barking the dogs are gonna be barking um like crazy yeah so thank god i have leftover um coating tylenol for my dental surgery so i'm just gonna okay. pack that in the in the purse i'm prepared yeah yeah I mean, I flushed them down the toilet. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> wait. It, it'll be good, though. It'll be fun. Yeah. You should go one of these years. You actually, like, would have to pay me a million dollars. Really? You'd have to pay me... I would do it for, like, but 5K. I, I kind of want to go to Stagecoach in two weeks. What's that? It's the country version. It's all the... Like, <gasps> Morgan Wallen? Yeah, he's performing. Okay, I DM'd him. Okay, Kate. He responded. Kate, he did? No. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> like we'll finally find find me like the cowboy of my <gasps> dream. Wait, Loki, we would slay. In like the vlog of We'd us, be like so tall. The vlog, I know the vlog of us blonde. dressed as like cowgirls, vlogging. Wait, Loki, I'm down. I'm actually down. Which I'm is crazy. Begging. Wait, I'll, I'll work on a tickets and okay, shit. Okay. But like, we just need like. I need you to come Mommy's with me. It's it. like less crazy than Coachella. Yeah, and the men will probably be soy hoit. Oh my god, conservative boots. Oh, literally boots. Oh, ah, literally ah, boots. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'm excited. It'll be good. We'll be back next week, and I'll be recapping. Oh my. Relapsing gosh. and rehabbing. Yes. Okay, just the first one. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. getting it all. Oh. Um. Mercury retrograde started like a few days ago. Right. Do you know anything about that? I know that um, my friend meets in a little women's group every time and they um, manifest. Okay. Why has it got to be a man? So true. Yeah. Um, But I literally don't know nary a thing. What about you? I don't know. I realized like I feel like this this one like I've kind of noticed Just as far as, like, things in my environment being odd, seeing people that I don't want to see, seeing people that, like, I've been wanting to see that, like, I haven't seen. And, like, last night I went out, saw someone that I just did not want to see at all. But I, yeah, so it's like I saw people that I didn't want to see and then I saw this guy um, from Hinge, actually. I, I... you know what they should pay me we more. love him no, but, yeah um that like i always wanted to hang out with but i like it just never ended up hang- happening he was there but here's the tea on this i'm like i i low-key like i get so upset like when people don't want to like meet and then like when i sometimes like i'll be in these situations where i'll stumble upon them in real life and i'm like oh what was i tripping about oh that's the best it's oh the, my God, best. It's the best it was like someone gave me just a nice Lift. Right. I just saw him. It was, was he busted? He was wearing white denim pants. Good God. Did it have rips in them? Yes. Oh! Stop. Stop. Was it a, with a polo, a red polo? White t shirt, all white, white Air Force ones. What the f? We're at Barley's. Zoinks. Where Zoinks. is your leather jacket? Oof. If he had a leather jacket on and just normal jeans. <laughs> yeah, it would have been over. I would have been just a hole. <laughs> True. Did you talk? No, we just stared at each other. No, we just stared. <laughs> no, we just stared at each other the entire time. And he was so mad. He was kicking himself. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay, so like running into people. You're yeah, running into people. Do or don't want to see. The f-ing people like running around with like the bottle service like broke like glass like three times. Like I knocked over a glass. Some girl came over to our table claiming that she like bought the table and was like yelling at like our friend who bought the table and was like about to like start a fucking riot and I'm just what? like what is happening? Okay so everyone's losing their minds. Everyone's losing their minds. Also just every time I FaceTime right now it just doesn't seem to work. Huh. It apparently happens with technology too. Interesting. Yeah. The technology has been slow. Instagram it's was down the li- other day. I'm saying yeah. I don't know what's going on. What's your zodiac? Leo. Leo. Liar. Okay. Libra. Do you know anything about your sign or astrology, of therefore? Or like what you're compatible with? We're compatible. I'm compatible with Geminis. I'm compatible with, um, I don't know, kind of everyone because like we're the best. But right. I just do know that August Leos are superior to July. And I know that. You can Septem- actually fight me on that. Yeah. I know September Libras are superior to October. Mm, Libras are really flirty. Do I not act like I want to fuck you every time I walk no, in the room? No, literally. Because my friend Jared's a Leo. Our friend. Oh, I wish he was more than a friend. I know. Not kidding. Jared. Um, but yeah, I guess I, I, I don't know. <laughs> What's a lot. lore on him? Uh, pff, Jared. He has a girlfriend. Again? I know. Same one? Different. I haven't run into my ex. You haven't? Yeah, the old one. Ugh, now that you said it, you will. No, literally. Not kidding at all. Speaking of Mercury and retrograde. And <laughs> me trying to make a segue. <laughs> okay. All I know is you look good and I'm turned on. Unlike the technology in Mercury Retrograde. Yes. Whoa. 
That actually provides us with a great segue because we wanted to talk about our turn-ons and our turn yeah. I don't know if we've done this. I don't think we've done we've this. We talked about ics and those are very different. So don't get those confused. Okay. What's the difference between an ick and a turn And that's such a good question. So ics are like very specific. Like if a man like twiddled his thumbs, but like huh. a turn off. Yeah. And, huh. Yeah. And made that little grunting sound. Grunting. And then a turn off. Is I like, love X. <laughs> Sorry. X. <laughs> Icks. And then a turn off is like a man that doesn't, isn't hygienic. Oh, that's. Right. That's self respect. No. <laughs> Ooh, you don't clean your foreskin? Right. Send them to me. No. What? But, uh, what? Uh, anyways. <laughs> so give me some of your like turn offs. Um, uh, if you suck at hygiene, don't look at me. Please. I'm begging. Please. I also don't like a man who blacks out every time he leaves the house. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> like, I just, I can't stand, like, someone, like, when they go out. But, like, it's those people, like, that aren't alcoholics. It's, like, the people that just save it up and, like, go out on the weekends only. But, like, Friday, Saturday, and all day Sunday, yeah. it's, like, gone. Yeah. I'm, like... It's, like, dude, what are you, me? No, but Way it's like, I mean, at least do, if you're going to do that, do it every day. <laughs> you know, like t- take it home for us. Yeah. Like and leave us alone. I, I just don't, I, I don't understand. Like, what's the point of like, there was this guy last night at the club. No. And he's sitting there. There's a couch. Everyone's leaving. I felt so bad for him. I had to help him, but he's sitting here like Stephen <laughs> Hawking. No. And, <laughs> and he's. Like blacked out, it was just. Uh, oh, oh my god, that's the worst. And no, check this one out. One shoe on, other shoe on the si- other side of the club. Not kidding you at all. And he's like, "Where's my shoe?" Oh. Everyone's leaving. He has like all of his friends aren't with him. He's just like, and I'm like, oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I go. I get the shoe. Oh, that's nice of you. Um, you slap him with it. Right, get your shit and I go. There's your shoe. Watched him. It took him two minutes to slip his Stop. shoe on. And I look at my friend Hope. I go, "You can't help them all. <laughs> Security <laughs> no, will handle really that one." Can't. Yeah, you can only do so much. Yeah, I mean, you did more than it most was people giving. Would. Just like drunk boots. I, like, I think if he was like, because weird shit happens in LA where people get drugged. But I don't know. He looked like the one that does right. drug. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm like, you get high on your own supply. Right. No. Yeah. Um, God, that's controversial. <laughs> um, <laughs> prayers up. Hope you got out. Oh my gosh. And you know, when they're really drunk and they're like sitting and they're like falling to the side, but they also do the thing where they like grab at girls and they're like, oh my hey. God. I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, what are you, a fucking ant eater? No, literally. And they just like can't even see their like one eye is closed and they're just like grabbing at a girl. And they just like, see volume and voluptuosity. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It's just a thick man, and they're like <laughs> trying to grab. I'm not kidding. They it, they're like snap. Like I, hey, yeah. I'm like, when has that oh. ever worked? Me every time I was blackout. No, not kidding at all. Me. I'm like, I love you. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, wait, you want me? You know what? Isn't necessarily a turn off. It just makes me like so like ugh. when there's like a, it's like a guy trying to get through the club. Like walking oh my God, through I know what you're people. About to say. Oh my God. Yeah. Since when have your hands ever needed yeah. to <laughs> grab in front of my stomach, around my waist, and right. under my ass to get through the crowd? Literally, you're like fingering me as you walk by. <laughs> like, Why am I getting finger banged yeah. in the middle of Delilah? <laughs> You would never well, do that to a man. I, Maybe a juicy man, but you would never do that to the common but you, man. But they like they graze and yeah, yeah, yeah. excuse me, love. Sh- get oh, the, the love. Get the, the love. fuck off me. And they say it in your ear, and it's like their breath is hot, kind of reeks of like salmon, cigarettes, yeah. salmon, Cigarette. truffle fries. Oh, okay, I want that right now. But do we go? Yeah, not uh, kidding, <laughs> nice guy. After this, not kidding. Um, I in in what fucking world? Yeah. In what literal planet? <laughs> Hate that. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a really good one. Um, I literally hate when... I think a really big turnoff for me is just, like, when a guy doesn't shut the fuck up. I don't know. I feel like I talk about that a lot, but I hate when they just, like, talk and talk and talk, and you, like, try to say something, and then when you do talk, their eyes, like, glaze over. 
And they're just like, I'm like, I know you're not listening to me. Oh, it's just like they want their own podcast. Yeah. I'm like, you are not on Six Feet Above. And you never will be. <laughs> and you never Quite, will be. You, you might pick me up from one of the episodes when I'm done. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Not kidding at all, Ronnie. Ooh, chapped lips. Oh, Ronnie. <laughs> chapped lips make me actually want to do a backflip and crawl into my skin in the worst way. Like, okay. I hate chapped lips. Okay. I hate bad breath. Earwax. Okay. Visible earwax. Visible. I've never gotten. I, see, I don't. You don't know how to pick talk them like to I do. <laughs> people who do meth on my street. Okay. Well, you need to start. <laughs> yeah, do I? Yeah, you do. Okay. They'll give you a really cute nickname. Okay. Um, what would my nickname be? Okay. Tredi, From your. She's tall. She. No, nah, I feel like they just call me like fountain bitch. F- mm. Wet whore. No, something. It would be something about your titties. I got to objectify you. Titty. Uh, oh, is that why they called you cheesecake? Combine, yeah, because your butt. My butt, like. Okay. Cake. Um. Me trying to combine titty and Trevi. Tit. Next. No. I'm, I'm actually never gonna speak again. Um. Turn ons. Let's switch. The, I flip this. Okay. Okay. Uh, what did you just say? It doesn't literally matter. I like. What did you say? Today. I was like, let's switch the flip. Meant to say flip the switch. Loved it. <laughs> Thank Let you. Let that freak bag fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think as far as turn on wise, the right amount of cologne. Oh. Don't you dare. Don't you dare come in fucking taking up the room uh, smelling like someone's fucking freshly febrezed Uber. Literally. Like, <laughs> I'm so confused. Is there seven of them on you? Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Right deodorant i beg it's not that hard i think there's a shortage of cologne because men don't ever smell like anything y- yes well i know or just the cologne is ass now right i don't really it's know literally ass. um but not from ysl beauty i don't think like cologne is necessarily like hygiene i think it's like style like it shows that you care like it is obviously yeah. part of hygiene like you could be hygienic and smell like nothing yeah but like it's a stylization and like a, an expression of how you want yourself to smell and yeah it's like it's like when a peacock puts its feathers up. Mm, Ooh. Yes. Yeah. Correct. 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 You have a turn on? Yeah. But I actually just. You ever get about- jealous? <laughs> <laughs> I thought of another turn off. Go. Okay. Well, so as you know, I used to um, date people. I, I didn't want to get specific. I decided last minute. Anyways, yeah. my ex boyfriend, um, his butt crack would show all the time. That's a big turn off for me. Oh. Like when you're just wearing your pencil and your butt just crack. Just not even in a sexual situation. No, no, no. Just, just like walking around, his butt crack would be out. Are you? <laughs> and I'm like, what? there's just a I'm brown like, streak. You know, he swipes up. That's literally what I was about to say. One time he bent what, over. What are you, an Instagram story? There was <laughs> Swipe up. He literally bent over once and there was a brown streak. <laughs> I'm like, you need those wipes. Those, you know what's so funny? And this is not sponsored by Dude Wipes. <laughs> why are they called Dude Wipes? No, no. Because why are they for men? Why do, is it why, gay to not have? Why do we have to dangle that they're for men over, like, just for basic ass wiping needs? Literally. Because like men's body wash, God forbid it said body wash, they'd be like, well, that's not for fun. Right. I I see, let's talk about gendered products for a second. Like, I'm I have so seen, mad. Like, like, the fact that they have to do men's makeup for like, like I saw this do concealer they? stick that was called like, men's grooming corrector. Oh, that's so And masculine. I'm like, <laughs> no, because y'all would save half the money if yeah. you walked your ass into Walgreens and picked up right. a little fucking wet and wild concealer. Literally, you need to pay forty dollars for your men's grooming stick. Makes no type of sense. Makes no type of sense. The dude wipes always just messes me up. It's so fucking funny. Like, how is that a thing? Like, get- I, I don't, I don't get it. Half the price, baby wipes. Yep, yeah, half the <laughs> price. Fuck, wipe your ass with a bleaching Lysol wipe. I yeah, <laughs> like, like actually, you need to buy them because they're dude wipes now. I like, think they think they'll like make them straight, maybe. Well, maybe they think that, like, if they use the dude wipe, it's like a shield from their finger. So when they're fingering themselves, it's not. Right, it's not. It's not, like. It's not LGBT. It's not LGBT, bro. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they were just, like, checking their prostate, just making right. sure that, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything was in line, making sure it was still there. Correct. Um, maybe that's maybe that's what they're for. So after they don't, like, their finger doesn't smell. Ah. Uh... Yeah. Maybe it's not actually for cleaning that area. So, dude wipes, if you want to sponsor, yeah, us, we got you. 
Um, we got you. Okay, yeah. but um, a turn on for me. God, that's funny. Is um, do you wait? Do you finger your own ass? I don't have an asshole. Oh, a real big turn on for me is when you take that credit card out immediately. Oh, put it when we're in a restaurant. Yeah. Um, a little sweat on the upper lip. Don't mind it. You know what I like? What? When they're paying for dinner and they don't look at the bill. Oh my god, it's so hot. And it's not that I want someone rich. I do. I know. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's that like it just shows me that like you have your life and you know yeah. what you're doing. Oh my god, when they like when they open the check and then they like have their finger on the receipt and they're like looking up and down and they're like, oh, "Did you actually order two diet cokes?" And I'm like, "All right. Dry as hell." Dry as hell. Yeah, yeah. so I think when that's they just hot. Clack it. You know what a big turn off for me is? Tell me. A man that lies. Like compulsively. You ever met a compulsive liar? You ever get jealous? <laughs> <laughs> um, compulsive liars in men or friends mm. is a is a thing. Yeah. Is a thing. It's I a think we need to get thing. into that. Yeah. Have you had experience? Have I had experience? Honey, I am one. No, I know. <laughs> I'm like, this is me. No. This is an intervention. I am like, if, if I lie, I normally lie about like very like white lies. Like mm. I'm very like, oh, I think my dad's going to be in town on that day. Or right. like, or like, oh, I have a dinner. I can't make it. Like I'll throw in one of those. Yeah. But I'm never one that's be like, oh my God, I was on my way, but you know, I slid and burned off the 405 and right. now I'm talking to the police officers and yeah, like how do you keep up with those lies That's I don't get I don't I there's like people I know that have just said the craziest shit to me and even to impress me like people visiting LA that think that Ugh. it's like cool to like name drop and like oh my god saying things about like people that like I know yeah. and then I'll like ask them like, I've never met that person in my entire life right my old roommate in college was a compulsive liar she was like <sighs> super super smart read all these books so she was really good at manipulating and lying mm. and one day she came into my room i was like hung over as soon and she came in bawling her eyes out and right. she was like hey oh my god and i was like dude what happened and she was like my cousin got sold into human trafficking and i was like oh, what like i was like that's a big deal and we were like talking and i was like how did it happen and she was like well she uh got drugged and then uh she woke up and her phone happened to be there and her uh dad happened to be calling her so she answered and he found and i was just like what the f it was real so that was like strike when i was like wait what like the story made no sense but she was crying so i was consoling her and then the net like a month later she comes in crying saying that her friend died and i was like dude i'm so sorry like we had a whole like moment i see that he commented on her instagram and i go wait a minute didn't you say he died and she was like listen like we got in a fight and like the only he way was dead could, to me the, the only way i could deal with it was if he died and i was like what? And like, I remember slowly backing away and being like, what? <laughs> what the f And then the final straw was when she told us that her mom got sent ahead of the mail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a head? Like a severed head. And we were like, girl. And she was like, blah, 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 like crying hysteric. So like, I was like, damn, do I believe it or do I question it? You know what the thing is with these people though, is that obviously it's They're hot. <laughs> I think the thing with some of these people is that it's obviously like a mental right um, because it's you like if she's sitting there sobbing it's like girl she must believe it well she came out and was like I'm a liar <laughs> LGBTQ how, I'm, I'm, I'm the L <laughs> <laughs> lying gross <laughs> lying Oak. Trafficked. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yo, she's so LGBT. <laughs> no, she's super LGBT coded. Yeah. Um, I just, I but like, how is she sitting there sobbing? Like, I, they, don't I, I feel like know. a lot of these people, like when they're saying their lies, like they really get like into like method behavior and they like they believe it. I'm like, girl, what are you doing here on the rowing team? Go to Juilliard. Like yeah. next, next. <laughs> I just had a stroke. <laughs> she just keeps next, next. Next. He was like, I lie because I want people to think I'm interesting and I hate myself deep down. I was like, damn, okay, self-aware, but get away from me. Not good. Um, well, like, yeah. I, I know Brooke has talked about this, but like the one example of this I can think of is like her ex-boyfriend. 
Oh uh, my god! You've heard the lore on that, like how he said his parents if died. That that is her like, coded. Uh, like, my old roommate coded. And then she just finds out like his parents have been alive the entire time. But and, like, he's like still releasing music right now. Like how does that work? I, I just don't know. Something that I'll never lie about though <laughs> <laughs> is how awkward. A hookup can be sometimes. Oh my god, I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah. Because it's just something that does not sit right with my spirit. Yeah. <laughs> you ever get jealous? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to take it away? Do you have an awkward hookup story? <laughs> oh, hey, Adam. Yeah, I have a few awkward hookup stories, I think. Um, I mean, one we've that we've spoken about is in New York when, as the guy was nutting, he literally told me he loved me sir i met you an hour ago <sighs> sounds like he has good taste though so get away from me you know <laughs> literally. no no no. but like the best taste in the world yeah but one time i like there was this guy you know i like i love a mortal oyst wine mm. um and he Scrunchous. was like it was like one in the morning he's like hey i'm around your area do you want to like hang out and i'm thinking that he wants to hook up I'm like honestly down like half beat my face I was like, yeah, come over. He's like, yeah, we don't have to do anything. I just want to like talk, get to know you. Like I, th- like I was like, okay, that's really cool. Like whatevs. I don't believe him, right? As if like I don't believe any man at one in the morning. I'm like, obviously he's gonna come over yeah, and like immediately throw himself onto me, right? Yeesh. He knew I was. He knew he knew the tea. Okay. And he comes over, like he was just casual. We sit on my couch, and I'm like, we start talking. Okay. 15 minutes goes by he's like not trying to do anything and now I'm like okay there's this man in my living room you're gonna either like whip it out or like go home like at this point I'm like oh, I DNA. just we then start talking deeper and he's just basically like telling me that he's a music producer and oh my god is he networking he was networking stop <laughs> shut up and he's like, I'd love to, like, I checked out, because my Instagram's in my bio. Oh. And he's like, I want to make music with you. Like, I no. think. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, he's, this man's sitting in my, it's one in the morning, sir. Take Was he cute? You could, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, but you could have taken me to coffee and like talked about yeah, me, Or like what? texted me like, hey, here's my music. Worst businessman ever. Ever. But like, honestly, like, kind of smart, I guess. But, but like, you're not going to do anything with that it, it gets it gets um funnier oh god so just kind of like sighs and he's like it's such a shame you're so pretty and i'm like oh thank you and he's like but i'm not he just like i don't like trans people like he didn't want to like hook up with me because i was trans i was like okay you have the right to know your preference but you're sitting on my couch it's one at one in the morning it's one you the met morning. on a dating app <laughs> I'm, back. I'm so mad and what? at this point i'm like Again, whip it out or go home. I kind of just gave him this look that was like, yeah, it is such a shame. He, I, I'm trying to figure, this was like a long, this was like a long time ago, but basically something happened. Like, I think he puts his arm around me or something, okay. or I put my arm around him or something happens. Okay. okay. And then I just look, I give him, I look up at him, I give him one of those looks again. And um, he's like, oh, it's, it's such a shame. Or no, I think he like bumped into my boob or something. And he's like, oh, I really want to, but like, I just, I it would make me so uncomfortable. It, you could just tell it was like a shame thing, right? Like he would totally do it if he like, because he, he came so from much. a country that was like, you know, it's they're dominantly religious and like. Um, okay, but why are you there at one a.m. on a dating app? Not kidding. Anyway, he. Um, oh my god! <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I don't want to say it. I can guarantee you, it's probably not embarrassing. He literally goes, okay, I'm so horny now, but I, like, my religion, like, I, like, I just, I don't know. Like, he's like, I really want to so bad. He jacks off. (laughs) He parallel plays? He jacked off onto me. (laughs) Okay. As I just sit, sat there with my tits out. How was your experience with that? Do you think it was hot? I think I was at this point. I'm like, like, can we just do something? Yeah, you were like, for the love of all, that's good. <laughs> um, but after he nutted, it was it was one of the bad ones. Where really? I was like, um, well, I looked up his music too. I was like, wasn't even like trash. But like, how are you gonna come to my house tell me that you don't want to do anything? It's one in the morning. Um, I was I got ready. I was like I was like down to hook up. Right. You come over to network. It's one a.m. You meet off a dating app. You're. Sh- 
at networking and then you say, hey, can I jack off on to your you. tits? And then you're like, oh, but can we work together? Bro, you're Hilarious. horrible. You're Hilarious. horrible. That is So crazy. I blocked him. I never spoke to him again. I want to have a segment where I come every week. And no. You come everywhere. <laughs> 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 says, I'm like saying this, this, this is, I want to come on to the podcast every week and have a little segment where I come with a uh, 12 inch dildo mask now <laughs> I'm like yes where I come with a new I joke we were doing that when I come on with a new joke that I made up okay? oh okay give me one I thought of it last night before bed okay what did I have to remember hold on what did the Water supply say to the city when it ran out of water. Hey. Well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, good. they don't need to be dirty. Yeah, I yeah, just yeah. need something. Okay. Anyway, so that's all we have I, for. I would work on it. I would. Work, I like it. I like the you vision. You like the, the, the sketch is yeah, there. Yeah, the vision is there. Yeah. But next it's week there. I need you to come on with a joke that you made up. Okay, I got you. Okay. I got you. So my awkward hookup story is that. It's crazy because it was after DJ Kevin. It was after that night. You fucked in the sober living? Yeah. No. <laughs> I went home that night because I was on the, I was just taking you guys out. So DJ Kevin that night that I took all the girls to the sober living, I go home and I get a DM from this guy who was in, I went to high school with and I like had a crush on him in high school, right? And so... He was like, what are you doing? And I was like, I might as well just like hang out with him. I had a horrible night with DJ Kevin. How tall was he? He was tall. You would like, he was a finance man and he was tall. Okay, it's giving, you waiting at the street corner of Beverly Hills. You would have loved him. I was just like, might as well. Um, he was like a year younger than me, which was really crazy for me. But anyways, he shows up. He's way cuter than I remember. Really? But he is the most boring man I've actually ever come across. And oh. it got to a point where I go, so what's your favorite food? And he was like, eggs. And I was like. The, the, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. The finance men also like are obsessed with. Why are they so boring? Well, they're just like also just obsessed with like the gym and like all they, Literally, all they eat is like steak and, and like eggs. eggs. He went on like a tangent about how he how he likes to make his eggs. And I was like, wow, this is crazy. Um, oh my God. Your eggs are running and I should at, be running. Uh, should be running far away. And then the he. um went down on me and farted and i said <laughs> you can actually leave <laughs> and then he left farted he literally farted and he tried to pretend like it didn't have it was so loud and i was like so now we're gonna do the final segment where we answer your guys's advice and queries sent into the instagram and for future reference next time we post it will be on the six feet above pod instagram and send in something that we haven't talked about yet yes you gotta catch up. You gotta catch up on the episodes. Come on now. I'm begging. So the first one is my man's mom don't let him sleep out. We're 23. It angers me. Please help. Like like outside of the house. Yeah. Like won't let him sleep over. Yeah. Well, so it's he's obviously not financially independent. Right. I'm assuming. Probably not. So I think if he's living under the mother's roof, she like. It, she technically, if that's like her rules and she said like, hey, you can live here. I just don't want you. I want you sleeping here every night. Yeah. As a mother, I get that. But he is 23, right? Like, no. I just don't. He's grown. I don't know the reasoning of that. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Overprotective parents are. They're a spook. A whole type of situation. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, there's nothing you can really do about it. At all. If it becomes a huge problem, like you could reevaluate the relation. But also, why don't you address the guy? You're 23. Right. Move out. Move out. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Step it up. Step it up, King. Queen. I know it's a hard world, but we gotta we gotta find our place and figure it out. Yeah. Um, the next one is I'm afraid to leave my long term BF. What if I regret it? Struggling with letting go. So here's the thing, you could always just Start off cheating. <laughs> I was gonna say cheat. Yeah, for sure. no. Um, please Dip do those not. toes in the water. Why don't we like discuss like a break and see how we feel? Right. I mean, every time I've discussed a break, it's because I want to break up with someone, but I'm too scared to. But also, it's like, what are you? I feel like you should feel 
secure as like this is the one I don't want anyone else and if you're already feeling that way yeah it's so hard when it's long term like, but it's also like like I hate the th I hate the like what if thought in your head like what if mm -hmm. there's something better out there mm -hmm. for me like there probably is there is if you're if you're thinking that right now there probably is yeah you're very comfortable right now in your relationship but I'm telling you if you're writing into us and you're questioning I would say you need to let it go the first month is going to be absolute hell you're going to question everything you're, you're going to become be an alcoholic you're going to you're gonna become an alcoholic you know yeah. all that you might get chlamydia but guess what yeah. it's going to be worth it yeah you get shot in the butt you are about to level the fuck up and mm. you can't do that while you're with this man. Yeah. You just can't. You just can't. Yeah. You know your worth. And you listen to this podcast, so clearly you have good taste. So yeah. Um, someone said how to not feel alone. And I'm gonna flip this question in the sense in the sense that <laughs> um I'm gonna flip this question in the sense of like just overall loneliness, even with friends. Um when I remember there was a time that I was feeling really lonely. Find like a very open, almost like crowded cafe or coffee shop and bring your laptop and go work in there. It has made me feel so much better. Really? Or even an outdoor like restaurant cafe that like, because you can meet people, but also yeah. just the feeling of energy around, around people, you yeah. and the world happening around you yeah. doesn't even need to be work. You could just be like bringing your laptop and fucking around on YouTube with your headphones in. Right. You know? Totally. Like I loved to do that in new york yeah i felt so alone in new york i know new york is so lonely but yeah. so is la <sighs> so don't move to either of those places at all um unless you want to be best friends with us <laughs> 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 literally <laughs> um yeah i feel like first of all loneliness is pretty inevitable for everyone so like don't beat yourself up for being lonely we all get lonely as yeah fuck. yeah but um, yeah, definitely crowded places. I think we talked about this before, like maybe finding like a hobby of sorts. Join a run club. Yeah, obsessed join a run with club. the run clubs right now. Yeah. I've never been, but I'm watching the videos, and I'm gonna find my husband that. that way or yeah. at stagecoach. Right? Yeah, at stagecoach, you will. You yeah. actually couldn't pay me enough to be in a running club. That's crazy. Um, too tall for that. But what am I? I mean, I'm too tall for it. Then what am I? I don't know. We're the same height. You like running? No. Oh, but I could do a jog. And also, I think it would be good for my endurance. Yeah. And for my boobs. Yeah. Moves them around. I run for one minute. I can't breathe. I just can't do it. Yeah. Anyway. But that's why you got to keep doing it, right? It was just not, the whole it's just thing? not fun for me. I just hate everything about it. But apparently, there's like a high that comes with it. I'm like, <sighs> I, I, right. I don't believe <laughs> that. Ooh, so healthy relapse. Right, 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 right. right. Yeah. I get um, that from other things, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ketamine. Yeah. And the last but not least is, if you could only use three makeup products in a rush, what would you use? Um, for me, it would be bronzer, mascara, highlighter, and lip gloss. I said three. Oh, you did? That's uh, crazy. I heard four. I literally I said three. I like to three. make my own rules. Um, concealer, mascara, bronzer. Mm. Mm. No gloss? So, mm. I know. I got you there. Concealer, mascara, gloss. Okay. Because I'm thinking, well, unless it's like a shimmery bronzer. Okay. <laughs> I could put a little bit on my lips. Right, 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 right. right. So, what are you grateful for? Well, <laughs> um, what am I grateful for? I'm really grateful for... Oh, um, I've been vlogging with my roommate and it's been really fun. fun. I think I want to vlog Coachella. Oh, you should. I'm going to be in a house oh, that with all these people. that would be so good. You have to vlog I have it. to do that, right? I've been loving vlog. I've been making thumbnails would on I my Trevi shit. Would I be able to borrow your camera for the weekend? Absolutely. The camera's got off. She goes, no, you need to get I'm like, own. you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Well, I'm getting it yeah, off. you absolutely can. Is it G7X? If you have any, if you think I have any idea. Wow. Because I might, have, really the, hard to I might have the same one as you. I just might need to borrow your charger. But we'll talk about it. But yeah, we'll I want to. I want to like get into vlogging. I think we should do vlogs together too. Even me, me you, and Harper. I, 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 can you please be in one of our vlogs? I, uh, Anyways, it's really fun. It's called Parallel Play. Check it love. out. Love. Um, but anyway, love. Been Subscribe. Having fun with her and put it um, in the description. In the description, and oh, I appreciate that. Um, and uh, grateful to be single out here and. Uh, just focusing on the bag and not these men. So, well, but if you are hot, you have we become AI? 
Like, what are we saying at this point? (laughs) But I am grateful to be single. Oh, and because, so me and Trevi went out last week and we were talking to this girl, Dana Patterson, I'll say her name, obsessed with you. And she, we were talking about how I was like, are you on dating app? She was like, no girl, I'm just like, focus on this bag. And like, if it comes, it comes. But like, I'm not worried about dating right now. And I was like, I'm not either. And I feel this weird competition to always be like trying to find someone. And I'm like, it just felt so good to hear that from yeah. another woman. I was like, you know what? You're right. Yeah. I don't need to focus on that. That makes sense. I see. I just really want it. Yeah. Which is great. But it's it's also because it's like not really something I've to the full extent experienced. Right. So maybe if I just experienced it and I like didn't like it, mm-hmm. I could be like, oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this shit. Right. But it's just I've never like. Really, and like I've will. always just been like barely there, or like situations here, like right. So, twenty five. It's very young, very old. My cell tur- my cellular turnover has officially stopped, and my You're full frontal lobe has completely developed. I know that's right. I'm grateful that I am going to Coachella. I'm grateful that oh, I'm really grateful that I shaved my legs. Ooh, yeah, took it a little relate. far this week. What do you mean? Just by not shaving them. I did like the shower. You know, like the shower. Everything shower? shower? Oh my God. The best. Everything was, because you're like sweating by the end of it. You got to wash your body. Literally. I'm like. There's hair all over you. Oh my God. On the walls, on the fucking shower head, on the drain. Literally. Get out of my asshole. I'm like. (laughs) Wait, I thought you didn't have one of those. "Mm -hmm." (laughs) I like my crack. It doesn't actually like have like an abyss. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, (laughs) So. Yeah, I don't really know. I like also think the weather's kind of cool lately. It's like getting better. It's not raining as much. Yeah. Earthquake in New York. Crazy. Two. Two? I think there was like an aftershock. Girl. Earthquake in New York. (laughs) Crazy. That's like the same uh, tone as, um, are you a Nikki fan? Yeah. (laughs) Oh, that's crazy though. Grateful I'm not in New York. No. No, but actually that place. But is you so know what? Depressing. It's not because of the earthquake. It's because I always say that. Yeah. I don't f-ing like living in New York. So go yeah. f- yourself. I'm walking here. Wait. Wait. There it is. <laughs> Wait. I'm going in June. Come with me. Anyways. Not kidding. Miss it so much. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We love you, and um, yeah. we will see you next week. Mwah.